Hello everyone, it's Satch on Sims here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a build challenge in The Sims 4. Now it's safe to say there are a lot of build items in The Sims 4. In fact, so many, I've never used half of them before. Honestly, I always have this thing where I just stick with the exact same build items in every single build I do. So for this build challenge today, I'm gonna be pushing the boat out. I'm gonna be thinking outside the box and I'm gonna be using only items I've never ever used before in The Sims 4. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm actually gonna be building in this middle lot here in Brychester where the library was. I honestly love Brychester. Obviously I'm a bit biased because I am British. I just think this lot and the lighting here as well is really good. Two seconds later. All right guys, so whilst you weren't watching, I just basically built a basic structure of a house. Now I'm gonna try and use a roof tile that I've never used before. Luckily, I do always use a glass roof option, so I'm never gonna have to use those. However, the one that I probably have never ever used is this like straw roof here. I hate it so much much. There are literally no builds I could ever imagine using this for. So do you know what? One wall I've honestly never used is this one here. This um like wooden planks one sideways and it actually looks really beautiful. I can't believe I've never even noticed that before. I think it's because it's near the bottom of the list. In the, you know, in the options menu, like I honestly really hate the way the sorting works in The Sims 4. It's so tedious. We've just got these horrendous long rows of things and I never ever honestly get to the bottom of the rows because there's just too much to look through. So now it's time to look at the platforms tools. Now, do you know what? I've never honestly used like these stilt foundations before. Maybe I should use them, but I really don't want to because they look so ugly. Ugh. Do you know what? I've never used these glass panel fences, but then I don't like those ones. What about these city living ones? Ah, now this city living one looks a lot better and I swear I've never used it before. So losing my balcony Vs. Is it a balcony? What's it called? Oh, a fence. <laughs> it's a fence. Do you know what, sometimes I am like quite thick as shit and do you know what, I'm not a stupid person. I have a degree in psychology. I'm, you know, I'm quite clever, but sometimes I do have these stupid moments. Do you know what, I've honestly never, ever, ever used the Moschino stuff doors and windows. And I know everybody will be like, oh my God, what? Because they are honestly the most famous popular doors and windows we've had in the whole game. They are quite big though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit them all in my, in my build. Like it would be so useful in this situation if there was just a downsized window window tool. Honestly, EA, don't be shy. Put it in the game. You know, everybody wants it. So just put it in there. All right. Now I always do this with these build challenges where I build a house that's just way too big and it's going to take me such a long time. I'm honestly, this is my least favorite bit of building a house in The Sims 4 is actually doing the structure and the foundations because I'm just really not that good at planning spaces. And guys, can I just say, by the way, there's been a real big glitchy problem right now in build mode where sometimes when you delete walls, you see this like blue, oops, you'll see this blue line here here that appears on the build and it actually treats it as a separate room from the main room. The game can't distinguish between it. It's like an invisible wall and it creates so many problems when building and it looks so ugly and it also causes a problem in gameplay mode as well. I really, really hope that they patch it out. But honestly, it's been around for such a long time. They haven't. The way that I like to get rid of it is I try and build another room on top of it and then try and just build walls around it until eventually it disappears. And one problem I have as well is sometimes the game will automatically lower the platform without me even telling it to. And it just makes the walls a lot lower. And as a result, you can't access the doors. And it's really, really confusing. Like sometimes, honestly, these platforms are all over the place. I really hate this new platform tool. I know a lot of people love it. Honestly, guys, I fucking hate it. It really makes me angry. It's always buggy and it never works properly. And it always messes with my game. Now, I'm not really sure what to put in this main hallway. I guess first I'll just put a table in that corner or something, make it just like a decorative room. I really want to make this a modern style house, so I'm hoping to go for something that's kind of grey, or maybe something like this, but oh, that's the table that I love. I love this table so much, but I can't use it. Do you know what? I never, ever, ever use the dine-out tables, and I think it's because I never build restaurants or anything in The Sims 4, so maybe I'll use that dine-out one there. Oh my god, I hate it so much, but I'm going to have to use it because there's nothing else I can use. I've actually never used this counter to top style thing before, but it's actually a really, really nice one. I can't believe I've never used it before. Honestly, guys, I'm loving this kitchen set. I'm going to be using it again and again. I really hate this parenthood fridge. I've never used that before. Apart from that, I honestly think this is a lush kitchen and I'm going to continue using these ones in the future. I really, really want to have like a nice wooden flooring, but honestly, I've used all of them. So I don't think I can use any of the wooden ones. Do you know what? I've honestly never used this checkerboard flooring before because I just think it looks really over 
over the top and dramatic and I hate it. But I think I might use it for this build just because that's the whole point of this challenge. And then what about um, a walling though? A walling, what am I on about the walling? That sounds so posh. The walls, that's what I'm trying to say, the walls. Do you know, I think I might use this like little bunny rabbit animal wall here. Now don't get me wrong, it does look ugly, but if you just look at it without that horrible banner at the top, it looks plain white wall. It looks plain and white, so I might use that one. Do you know what? I'm getting a lot of my build buy stuff here from the get to work pack. I honestly never really use that pack much. In addition to that, I actually only downloaded the Sims 4 Parenthood pack recently. I know it's been out for ages, but I just decided to get it recently because it was on sale. So I've got all of this Parenthood furniture that I've never used before. So I'm kind of cheating that way, <laughs> but I'm using that to my advantage so I can use a lot more stuff here. My only issue is plants. I really do love using plants, but I think I've used all of them. The only one I remember I haven't really used before is this one. So I've been using this all around the house, but I don't want to keep using it. Actually, I've never used this one. I just don't really like using all these big bulky plants, but I guess I'm going to have to for this build. All right, guys, so I've almost finished in here. Now, the only carpeted flooring I've never actually used is one of the like dirty ones that we got from the city living pack because I hate it. But actually, do you know what? In this build, it actually looks really nice. I know it looks a bit dirty, but just having the different shades and things look really nice. And there was this wooden paneling wall I've never used as well before too. Also, there weren't that many paintings and things. I love this one. I can't believe I've never used it before. But, you know, the only real paintings I've never really used are the posters. So I just had to use some posters around here. The only thing I've just got to change up now is the lighting. And I'm really worried about doing the lighting because I'm very, very picky with my lighting in The Sims 4. And do you know what? Recently, since I downloaded the parent pack, I saw that it's come with this light here. And honestly, I hate it. It looks like a baby bottle. Looks like a baby milk bottle or a medicine bottle. But honestly, I think it really is one of the only ones I haven't used yet. So I am just going to have to use it here. Ugh, I hate it. It just makes the room look so dark. I don't want to use them. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Unless I use some like lampshades or something that I can use just to make it look a bit better. But then what lampshades have I not used? Maybe these ones? Oh no. I've used all of them apart from this one. Okay, I haven't used this one. Again though, it makes it look very dark still. Unless I just put them like everywhere just to help brighten it up a little bit. I'm literally putting all of these lamps everywhere just to brighten it up and it's, oh, I hate it. But I think it's the only option that we've got, so I'm gonna have to leave that there. But then I guess I'm just gonna do a little study in here. I may as well follow the same wall and floor plans in here too. I never use a lot of these office chairs. Like, look at this one, this yellow one here. It's so dramatic. It looks like a spaceship chair. I guess I'm gonna have to use this one. I've never used it before. I, I guess it looks kind of fun. I would love it. Now, I think I've used all of the computers. Actually, no, I have not. I've never used this ugly circular one, so I can have to use that one, aren't I? Ugh, disgusting. Do you know what, guys? The City Living uh, paintings are so underrated. I never use them, but honestly, they're beautiful. Look at how lovely these are. These are honestly like real art pieces. Like, I would genuinely love to use these kind of paintings in my real house. And then let's move on to our bathroom. Now, first, I'm going to have to get a curtain to cover up this door because it was the only door that I could use. But I think, and I've never used this dine out curtain coming to think of it, actually. So, yeah, guys, I've never used this blind here. So I'm just going to have to cover it like that. And then we'll use our imagination. <laughs> that they open it and close it when they need the bathroom. Guys, do you know what? I really hate doing a build in The Sims 4 without toilet roll, especially even though The Sims don't use toilet roll, you still need it just for aesthetic purposes. And I can't use it because I've used it before. That's really depressing. They're not going to be able to have their loo roll. At least they can wash their hands because I know for a fact I've never ever used this one before because it's so ugly. At least they can wash their hands. Do you know what? I've never used this movie studio door from the Get Famous pack. So I guess I'm just going to have to use that one because it's the only one that I think works. It looks so ridiculous. I know it looks silly in this house, but that's the only one I can think to use. And do you know what? I've never used this classic toddler bed actually, because whenever I play with toddlers, I always like to use the fun ones like this race car or this one here. So I never use these boring little ones here. So I guess I could use one of those. Thank God for the fact that I recently installed the parenthood pack and I subsequently haven't used a lot of the stuff in there because that is basically my Lord and savior right now. Thank you, parenthood. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this a single bed bedroom. Now, I've honestly never ever used this bed before simply because it's so ugly and weirdly futuristic. So I'm going to try and use that one because there's no other one I've used. Oh my God, guys, this room looks so ugly. There's no way I can find to make it look like nice because all of the ugly objects. Oh, look at that carpet. No, goodbye. Sorry, you got to go. Unless I put it under the dresser or something. Guys, I honestly have no idea how to make this built look nice because I can only really use stuff. The reason why I haven't used most of this stuff is because it's 
so ugly. So I really don't know how to make this room look nice. <laughs> this is so difficult, oh my God. All right, so basically I had to copy the exact same bathroom that was downstairs because there was no other furniture that I could use for these bathrooms. So uh, it's kind of lame, I know, and it's a little bit boring, but I didn't really know what else I could do in there. So I just had to leave it like that. Let me just change all of the lights. I may as well put that back in here. All right, guys, other than that, I think we're done. So for today's build, I really wanted to do a modern style house. Let's look again from the outside. Oh no, I didn't finish the outside of the house. <laughs> All right, let me just finish that up first. Now, again, I think I've used literally every single tree apart from these alien ones because <laughs> they're alien trees. So I think I'm just going to have to use these alien trees. Oh, please say there's something that I haven't used. There must be something that's not stupid. <gasps> Maybe these... Do you know what? I've never used the palm trees before because I never really build in areas that are su suitable for having palm trees. And right now we're in like the British world, which <laughs> we don't have palm trees here. So I'm just going to have to fake it, aren't I? I'm just going to have to pretend use my imagination that this is like a palm tree beachy world because there's no other way of being able to make this work I don't think. What about shrubs? Are there any shrubs? Again I've used, do you know what I don't think I've used the elephant one. I do, I've never used a llama one either. I've never used these animal ones because I just think they look so dumb and stupid but now is the day. <laughs> And you know what, this is actually perfect because I've actually never used any of the sand uh, terrain paints either. So this is perfect. I can just turn this into a nice big sandy world. There we go. This is our British staycation. When we're staying at home self-isolated, I'm gonna be self-isolating in my beach home in an American style townhouse. This is like a tropical beach home garden, an American style modern townhouse in a British, British city. This is honestly the most random eclectic build I've ever done. <laughs> Was so weird. Oh well, at least it's interesting and unique. Guys, I think we are basically done here. So this is the very tropical, strange, eclectic outside. This is our downstairs. I tried to make it modern, but it hasn't really- <gasps> I just realized I forgot to put dining room. Oh my god, how have I forgot- <laughs> How have I forgot a dining room? Oh, I'm gonna have to put a dining table somewhere. I can't finish this without a dining table. How am I so stupid? How, how have I just forgot that? That's so funny. Should I try and fit a tiny one in this like corridor? What have, what dining tables have I never used? Maybe I could use that as an excuse to get rid of this really ugly wall thing here and just put a dining table there instead. <gasps> parenthood, I've never used a parenthood one. Get that in there, thank God. Parenthood chairs, save the day. There we go, I'll just chuck that there. I've lost motivation at this point. <laughs> All right, there we go. At least we've got a dining table somewhere. Okay, so we finished this build. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the most beautiful build. This room looks all right. I quite like this room, actually. And do you know what? I really love the kitchen as well. But other than that, I th oh, it's all right. You know, it's not the best build I've ever done. But I like, you know, I never normally do these modern style interiors, actually. So it was nice to experiment. Obviously, I couldn't do it to the extent that I would have liked because we've only got these really ugly things that we've had to work with that I've never used. Like, I can't believe this mirror in here looks so funny. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. Shall I put this on the gallery. I've literally got like three followers on my gallery. Can I just say guys, like if you actually want to look at my gallery, you can have a look. It's uh, called Satch on Sim, same as my YouTube channel, but with no spaces in between it. Nobody ever downloads things off my gallery. And I think that's because my builds are so bad. But do you know what? If you did want to, you can have a look at it anyway. Oh! Do you know what? I've recorded three videos today. I'm exhausted. I'm going to have to get another coffee, I think. Ugh. Okay, so that was the end of today's video. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Do you think my building is bad? I think my building's bad, but I'm trying my best to improve. So anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like. If you have something to say, make sure you leave a comment down below. Did you like my build? Did you hate my build? I want to know. Let me know. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.